Okay, guys, so we are at Project 2 uh, for Entrepreneurship 20. And so what we really are trying to do in Project 2 is, is really get our arms around uh, who are our customers. And um, it, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do that. But what I, I try to do is, um, what always, what's always worked for me, is to try to like paint a picture of what they look like and then describe them as if you were going to be describing them uh, to a friend, right? So if I was going to be uh, uh, introducing you to a friend, how would I describe you? And so in that way, it sort of gives us a sort of an intimate view of, of this person. So project two, we have to incorporate some of what we uh, did in project one. So for example, uh, we're going to say just clean. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be using this hypothetical company. We actually thought about doing this a couple years ago, and maybe we will. Who knows? So um, just clean uh, designs and manufactures premium men's underwear in a variety of colors designed to mask embarrassing marks. So yeah, these underwear hide streak marks. And um, I'm not going to tell you how we came up with the idea, but let's just assume it was a fairly interesting conversation. So our value proposition, quite simply, right? Most indoor, uh, most men's underwear are in colors that do not mask uh, embarrassing marks. You know, therefore, we're going to do that. That's one of our value propositions. Uh, men's wearing just clean underwear will be able to avoid the embarrassment of being discovered wearing underwear that have unslight, unsightly marks. Second, uh, just clean will come in colors ranging from coffee brown to spinach smoothie green, right? Thereby masking those colors. Just Clean will be priced in between high-end offerings from Calvin Klein and low-end offering from uh, Fruit of the Loom and Hanes. So that's our value proposition. So we get, so obviously in uh, 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 Project 2, we've got to incorporate that, right? Because these are building blocks for the, for the marketing plan. So my ideal customer, these are college-age men between the 18s of 20 to 18 to 24. There's about 15 million of them, right? They're busy student. They forget to change their underwear. They live with friends. Don't necessarily have a washer on site. They work crazy hours as an Uber driver. Eating habits uh, uh, vary, right? Resulting in uh, sometimes them having gas. Um, uh, second, dairy market, right? These are working men, 25 to 44. There's about 41 million of those. And these guys are, uh, are busy. They're starting to build families. Um, you know, they're eating on the run. They're eating on the go. Uh, and uh, uh, and sometimes, you know, white underwear don't necessarily uh, hold up to that. And then we've got, you know, the third uh, customer, right? Ideal customer, uh, you know, women who wear men's underwear. And we estimate that about, uh, there's a very small percentage of them, but there's about 280,000 of them. So that's how I would describe them, right? So let's say, you know, college age men, let's go with Miguel, uh, busy, work crazy hours, eating habits aren't very good. Uh, working Robert, you know, working men, Robert, father of three, you know, helps family with Andre, uh, but kids, uh, clothes take priority, works long hours at a construction site with a porta potty, uh, drinks with buddies after work. So that's how I would describe Robert, right? This would be the perfect person for uh, the just clean underwear line, right? And the women who wear men's underwear, right? You know, Natalie, she's 32 old, married woman of three. She wore her husband's underwear when she was pregnant. Uh, started wearing uh, one on period or feels bloated. So I want you to be able to do the same exact thing I just did here, right? Uh, give me your ideal customers. Uh, give me the details of each of these, right? Give me, paint a picture of each of the people that you think would be your customers. And um, and I think that will, uh, that will help you sort of gain a lot of insight into um, who these customers are and, uh, and then ultimately help you uh, convey that story. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks.